Hi everyone and welcome to part 39 of the Montoya Family Let's Play. So today's the big day where Avalon gets to spend some time with their mother because they did discuss a while ago how Avalon should come and visit her when she gets home from college and she's home from college so yeah we're gonna have her go over to her house shortly and I'm just gonna have her go over to her house rather than inviting her out because I want Avalon to actually meet her half-sister because she hasn't actually met her yet and I don't think you can invite toddlers out. Pretty sure you can't, that would make sense. So we have to go to her house to make that happen. But first I wanted to have her give Guppy here a little bit of attention because he's pretty lonely when I first went into the game. So I want to make sure that we get a social up because we definitely don't want him getting taken away or anything like that. I forget if they get taken away if they get really lonely. I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, so we definitely don't want that to happen because I think Avalon would be heartbroken if Guppy was taken away. Oh, and I also gave her a uh, more summery outfit because she was wearing, um, yeah, she had like all long sleeve shirts in her outfit. So we definitely had to fix that because it's summer here in Isla Paradiso and she just looked like she was dressed for the wrong weather. So I fixed that. I think this dress still fits in with the style that she had going on. Okay, so how's Guppy doing? Is he, uh... Has he so been socialized enough? Yeah, I think we're good. So we'll let him go off and get some food or do whatever he needs to do and have, have, have Avalon head over to her mom's house. And Alex also has work. So I was thinking that once we have her spend some time at her mom's house, we could have her go out to the beach with her. We could go to the same beach that Avalon is, or not Avalon, um, Alex is going to be lifeguarding at so that we can kind of keep an eye on him and his job while we have her hang out with her mom. So I think that'd be good. Uh, it looks like... Isabella isn't isn't home, but I'm just gonna have her go over there anyway, and we can always have her invite Isabella back to the house because, like I said, I really want her to just meet her half sister. Okay, there we go. Now she's here. So let's go ahead and what are you doing? Oh, okay, I guess the front door's in the around the back or something like that. Alrighty then. Or not. Oh, oh right. Okay, okay. What am I thinking? Okay, so we'll have her go up here and knock on the door. Okay, looks like she's going to be invited inside by her mother's husband. Yeah, hopefully Isabella comes back here soon. Oh, the game also gave them a dog, apparently. Oh, that's cute. So they got a little... Well, not a little. That's actually a pretty big dog. But they got a dog. That's cool. Okay, so she's meeting her stepfather for the first time, too. Yeah, because they haven't really met each other yet. Well, while we're waiting for him to come back outside and talk to her to figure out whatever she's doing, let's... uh. Let's see if we can have her get her mother to come back here. Because I want to actually talk to her. Actually, they might just invite her over to her house. Well, I guess what I'll do then is I'll have her just hang around here for a little bit. Hopefully uh, Isabella comes back. Um, but I can at least have her meet her. Okay, I guess we can't ever do anything with her half-sister. Maybe once he puts her down, we can. But I mean, she's getting to know her stepfather, so I that's something that's cool. Oh, yay, she's home. Okay, good. Okay, that's awesome. So let's, uh, can we not do anything? Okay, fine. We'll show off a new gizmo to her. Oh, cool. Isabella's in the rebel group, too. Like mother, like daughter, I suppose. And, uh, these two definitely look... Whoa, 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 whoa. My camera's going all over the place. What was... Oh! Okay, well, this isn't my house, so I don't really care what your dog does. But, um... Yeah, Isabella definitely... Or not... Ugh. Avalon definitely takes after her mother so much. Like she looks, uh, looks, looks why she looks a lot more like her mother than her father. Uh, so we'll compliment her cleverness. Okay, that dog. What is that? Is that dog still tearing up that pipe? Poor flower. Okay. Well, anyway, let's apologize for what? Okay, fine. I guess I'll. No, we don't need. I don't know what happened. We don't need to apologize for anything. Uh, let's boast about gamer skills. Maybe we should probably just chat with her too, because I don't know if she's actually into talking about gamer. Is that dog still going to town on the flower pot? Jeez, you need to discipline your dog. I feel like can a actually can Avalon do it? No, Avalon can't do it. Ah, I feel like I feel like they need Avalon to train their dog for them because I mean, look at what she did with Guppy. Guppy is pretty much the perfect dog. Yeah, because I don't think Guppy tears up anything anymore. Yeah, so, uh, what is this? Da -da -da -da. Street art bag. Oh, apparently Alex became a rebel somehow. I'm not sure what's going on with him. But anyway, yeah, I think they should enlist Avalon's help with training their dog. What is this? Okay, this dog's got some issues. Anyway, uh, let's continue on with the mother-daughter bonding. And I want to see if we can actually, um, do some kind of interaction with, uh, what did I name her? Mariah? Can we... 
Oh, oh, that makes a whole lot of sense. So you have to get to know a Sims family well to be able to pick up their kids, which makes sense. Um, you know, it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to go over to the house of someone you don't know very well and just pick up their kid. Okay. Uh, let's compliment her home. Okay, so I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to actually have her do any kind of interaction with her younger sister. Maybe I really wanted something to happen, and I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to have Mariah come out to the beach. Okay, then. Well, ooh. Okay, it was Isabella thinks Avalon's being a bit boring. Uh, listen to boasting. Okay, then. Oh, she boasting about her gamer skills. Ah, oh, I guess she would have liked that interaction then. <laughs> Let's do things about comic books. I mean, she's... Oh, yeah, she's in the Rebel and the Nerd group. Okay, well, you know what? I think I'm going to get them out to the beach pretty soon. Uh, speaking of which, which... Wait. Where where are you, Alex? Are you at a... Wait, I could have sort... Oh, my God. Alex, you didn't go to freaking work. Go... Oh, that's perfect. They're right here. Like, he's gonna... He's supposed to work right here at the beach near their house. Okay, then. Well, let's, uh, what am I, why did I zoom in like that? Uh, well, let's have her go here with Isabella. Um, uh, we should probably just have Isabella come, uh, because I feel like Mateo should probably stay at home to watch his kid. I mean, they could hire a babysitter, but we'll just, whoa, what? What is he so sad about? Did I miss something while I zoomed out? Okay, then. Can we pick up your daughter yet? No, we can't. I don't know what he was just, I don't know if I missed something weird going on. Okay, then. Are we ever going to get to the beach? Come on, move! Ah, the stupid dog. I think we're actually going now. Yay, we figured out things. Ah, uh, this is one of those things that I really do not miss from The Sims 3. Like, there's a lot of things I like from The Sims 3, but the whole routing issues with Sims getting down staircases and stuff like that just really, 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 really annoys me. But fortunately, we don't have to go very far to get to the beach, so, you know, that kind of cuts down uh, the amount of time I have to spend with them in the taxi. Yeah, because it's just like literally right outside of their house. They can just walk down there. I don't know when Alex is going to get here, though. And I, so when he had to go to work, I hit, the, I hit the reform job thing, right? I'm pretty sure I did, so he should have gone there. Oh, well, at least I think he's here now. All right, let's see if Alex has any uh, recipes to perform yet. Probably not. Nope, doesn't look like anything's going on. Well, uh, getting back to Avalon and her mother, let's have them... Ch no, d come on, Chad, don't just, don't just lay down in separate beach mats away from each other. This is supposed to be a mother-daughter bonding day. Uh, no, I think she'd probably react really weirdly if we tried to give her a gift, because sometimes they do that. Oh, let's have some, let's have some fun celebrity gossip. Oh, she's a fairy, that's cool. Gabrielle Arias, wasn't that one of the women that Alex dated? Pretty sure. Okay. So we're going to have her go over here and talk to her mom a little bit more. What is this? Buy a pool waterfall for your resort. Oh, we don't have one of those. Hmm, maybe that's the thing we should get. Yeah, I really need to figure out something to push the resort over to five star. Sorry, Avalon, I can't tell you more than what I've already told you. But we haven't even celebrity gossiped yet. How? Do oh, okay. Hey, Alex. Really? Okay, then looks like uh looks like things are a little more awkward than I'd hoped they would be cuz like she's getting bored with her and stuff like that. So uh yeah, unfortunately this isn't going quite I will apologize for whatever it is that we need to apologize for. Maybe that'll make things better. Maybe she didn't like her just coming over unannounced. I don't know. Uh but yeah, this isn't going quite as smoothly as I'd hoped. Uh, so what should we do? Let's let's shock a bra. That sometimes makes them happier. Yeah, hopefully that- okay, looks like apologizing helps some, uh, enthuse about dogs. I mean, she has a dog, she should- she should be into enthusing about them. Ooh, we've actually got a rescue! Whoa, his hair just looked weird. Okay. Oh, I love his- oh yeah, he has a special, like, he can get to the water quicker and stuff now since he's higher up in the lifeguard career. Yeah, so he's at level 7, right? I don't know if we're gonna get him to level 10 before this Let's Play ends, though. I at least wanted to have him get all the islands before it ends, um... Oh, and also, so another, so something else I wanted to mention. Oh, really? Are you just going off and swimming instead of talking to your daughter? Let's, let's try this again. Come on. Let's show off the new kids, though. That's apparently all we can do. Um, but yeah, so last time I mentioned that, I wasn't sure about 
um, having her do all three degrees because of the amount of time it takes and stuff like that. And one of you, Kiana, brought up that there's a lifetime reward that basically gives you an honorary degree, which I'd forgotten about. Um, I don't, I'm not even sure where in here it is, but yeah, I remember there being that. Let me find it. There it is, honorary degree, 50,000 lifetime happiness points. Okay, so it's going to take a while to earn that, but uh, if I save up over lifetime happiness points, I think we can get that. But yeah, Kiana brought up that I could have her get this and have that cover one of her degrees instead of having her get all three at the university. So I think I'm going to try to do that because, yeah, I think with trying to do three degrees, I just bit off more than I could chew. And I'm just realizing it's going to take so long to get through all degrees, all three, yeah, all three degrees. And then it might get a little bit too repetitive if I have her spend that much time in college. So I think it might be better if... I just, okay, we're actually going to, okay, great, then this isn't working, but I think it might just be better if I do that than have her get three degrees, because uh, yeah, it's just going to take up too much time, because of getting, you know, this first degree is taking up more time than I thought it was going to, and I don't really want this Let's Play to end up super long. Um, I would prefer to end it by 60 parts, um, most, you know, like, I really would like to end it around 55 and just by having her only actually get two degrees, Thank it'll you. make it so I can end it by that point and then actually have more time to spend following Alex and his things. So I don't want to just be like we get Al Avalon her three degrees and end it with, you know, doing hardly anything else with Alex. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me know what you think of that. But, yeah, I just feel like going through three degrees, just it's it's probably going to get too repetitive. And there's a lot of Island Paradise type ah, stuff that I feel I haven't really done yet. Muna, Okay, looks like we're getting somewhere with these two. Like, I feel like their relationship is going up so slowly, though. I think Alex is actually done with work. Where is he? Okay, he's just chilling over here reading a book. That's nice. Well, at least we got to have him do one, uh, one, uh, one rescue. I was gonna say lecture. No, that wasn't a lecture. That was a rescue. So maybe in a little bit, I could have all three of them go out somewhere and do something. That might be kind of cool. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, I feel like I've already done so many of these interactions. Talk about art. I, oh, ooh, what is this? Let's see who's calling her. Philip Hahn wants to know if Avalon Montoya would like to go on a date. Ooh. I forget who Philip is. I remember that name from when she was in high school, but I, I don't remember which sim he actually was. But, you know what? I, I wanted to, I was going to have her spend more time with her mother, but... I'm just, I'm just going to do it because we've had her spend the whole day so far with her mother and things have been kind of awkward. So I think we could just leave that alone and maybe I can have her spend some more time with her mother in the next part. And we'll just go on this date and see what happens. I mean, she's single, so why not? Why not do it and see what happens? I mean, it doesn't have to really go anywhere. We can just uh, yeah, see how it goes. So that was a fun surprise. Um, I think I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna ever go back to university in the next part or maybe the part after that. We'll see. This place must have been really cool yesterday. It looks like the real party is somewhere else. Where are we? Wait. Did. Ooh, they're attracted to each other. That's awesome. That's cool. Wait, did we. Is this his house? Wait, did he take us on a date to a pier? Okay. All right, so our date spot is up here. That's interesting. Is he a vampire? Oh, he's a vampire too. That's interesting. Okay, well, well maybe maybe I shouldn't have gone on this date. It might have been better if I just had her stay behind with her mother. Oh, he's dramatic. He loves the outdoors and is a slob. Uh, that's an interesting mix. Really? Okay, I can I can already tell this is gonna be a stellar date. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have had her just spend time with her mother. What is this? Listen. Oh! Oh no, Avalon! No, this is a big mistake. She just broke her phone. Oh, I re I kind of regret this decision. Okay, let's see what. Oh, they were already friends, or almost friends. Who knows? Maybe you know. Maybe I should give it a chance. Maybe it'll get better from here. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I don't know. Why would you pick a pier as a date spot, though? I mean, it'd be one thing if it was empty, but there's an actual house here. Well, we could always have her... Wait, I thought this... Yeah, yeah, they're on a date. Uh, well... We could always have them go somewhere else. Just go somewhere that's actually out in the world. 
So where can we go? Oh, Seaside Stuff Art Gallery. What is this? The Rusty. We could always have him go to the good old Rusty Anchor Resort. Uh, Island Paradise Yacht Club. Wait, shouldn't there, shouldn't there be something here? Okay, good. There is. It's just taking forever. Oh, right. I haven't loaded it on this computer yet. That's why. Okay, then. I was worried for a minute. Uh, yeah, let's have them visit that with their... Let's have them go there. I feel like that'll be a lot more interesting than having a date on a pier. Yeah, we could, we could turn this night around. Okay, hopefully he doesn't ditch us, too, because I, I remember when Jeffrey ditched her because she wanted to go somewhere else on the date. I'll go to a chance. Were they just talking about his dad? Or her dad? Okay, Avalon, you okay? Yeah, she's not having a good night. All right. Oh, they're just walking over there. Okay, cool. We're already here. Yeah, at least it was nearby. <sighs> Good. He didn't ditch us. So, what can we have the two of them do together? Let's play some pool. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll play some pool together. See how that goes. But she's, attra she's attracted to him, so that's the thing. That's something. She looks like she's stressing out, though. Alrighty, so they're gonna go have some fun and play pool. What is Alex doing? Okay, still way over there. Reading a book. I'm I'm wondering if Isabella... Oh, Isabella's still there. You know, maybe we should have them chat. Uh, just because they haven't really... Okay, never mind. We can't talk to her. Uh, I was kind of wanting them to talk and reconnect a little bit. But it looks like... I think she's probably just going home and... Yeah, doesn't really want... Okay, no, we should probably have him go home. Okay, so get up, go home. Uh, let's get back over to the Yacht Club and see what's going on with their fun filled. Okay, guess they're not having a... Guess they're not playing pool. Well, are they at least going to go in the hot tub together? Oh, this is nice. There's some candles and towels. And he's over here playing pool by himself. This is not going to go anywhere. We'll ask him to join at least. Well, that, that might be kind of nice if we ask him to join us in the hot tub. But... I'm really not feeling this as a relationship for her. So Vampire Boy finally decided to make his way over here and get to the hot tub with her. And why are you wearing flippers in a hot tub? You don't need to do that, okay? So maybe things will get a little bit... Should we... No, okay, no, let's not have him cuddle. I feel like we're not at cuddle level yet because this has just been... I don't know. This, this, this hasn't been a date that's good enough for cuddling in the hot tub yet. Oh. All right, so are you two actually gonna chat? What is she now a trivia guru with the neurosocial group? Oh, that's cool. It turns out the brain, brain, bleh, brain game crowd is knowledgeable in many areas, and now Avalon and Toy can, is can issue a challenge for a friendly competition. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's in the nerd group. Oh, level three. Cool. Well, oh, yeah, so as far as what degree I'm not going to have her actually do, I think I'm just gonna have her do the technology degree next and skip the physical education one. I don't know, I'm a little more interested in doing the technology degree. Okay, so... Trivia chat- oh wait, no, do they have to get out? No, okay, no, I don't want to do anything that they have to get out of the hot tub for. So, let's complain about video games. Oh, they both went to the community high school, how cute. Just, oh, she just befriended a vampire, what a lovely accomplishment. What is this, buy hot tub? Maybe- oh, they actually have enough money for hot tub, so we could do- I don't know where I'd put it, but we can do that. What else do we have in here? Have a great day with Philip. We'll save this, but I don't know if that's happening. I'd be shocked if this was a great date. What are you doing with your hands? All right, then. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, I feel like this date's a little bit of a mess. But then again, sometimes with The Sims 3, things just end up being a little bit of a mess. I've realized that... Are you leaving? Are you serious? We're on a date. Really? You didn't even say goodbye. What? It Wow, okay, well, we're just gonna, no, yeah, I'm just gonna delete it, because that's not happening. Really? You didn't even say goodbye to us. Yep, yep, he's gone. But yeah, uh, I realized that with The Sims 3, uh, you can't really plan out things too much. Like, with my Sims 4 Let's Plays, I plan things out a little bit more, but, I don't know, like, with this Let's Play, I, I don't really do that quite as much, because The Sims 3 just tends to throw random things at you. Okay, well, we're gonna have her go home after that lovely evening. I guess that date went poorly. I'm not sure. Not sure exactly how the date went. Closing time will be back. Oh, okay. Come on, go home. Yep, I'd say that date didn't go well. Well, I'm going to just be back the next day since she's gonna be going home and going to sleep. And 
I was thinking you might be fun to have Alex do a little bit of scuba diving the next morning before I end this part. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back then. See? So it's the next morning, and after Alex finishes giving Guppy a bath, I was thinking, okay, so rather than having him go diving right away, we could have him signal Triton to come over here and talk to him a little bit more, because I remember that there was that whole mermaid secret island that he could potentially get, so... Uh, yeah, we can have him hang out with Triton and see if he'll happen to show us the island. Yeah, Guppy was getting pretty smelly, so I just went ahead and had him bathe him. Avalon got in pretty late the the previous night, so she's still sleeping. So we'll just let her sleep. I'll focus on Alex for the rest of the park, because I haven't really focused on Alex in a while, because it's been pretty much just about Avalon since I brought this Let's Play back. So we'll give him a little bit of more attention for the rest of the part and then um, I'll probably also do some other stuff with him in the next part. I'm not sure if I'm going to send Avalon back to university in the next part or wait until the part after that because originally I was thinking halfway through the part I could send her back but maybe I'll just do it at the beginning of part, what, was, what would it be, 41? Um, yeah, let me know if you'd, uh, you'd like to just have a, another full part back here or if you want me to just send Avalon back to college next time. So let's just queue up signaling the mermaid for when we're done with that. Hopefully he'll show us the island. I think you might have to go diving with them. So I'll see if I can get trying to go diving with him since we do live right next to uh, a diving spot. So that's perfect. All right, we just signal trying if he's available, he's on his way. Oh, did he just, did he just um, shake water off onto Alex? I think he did. Oh, that's cute. Alrighty, hopefully, uh, let's, let's clean this newspaper up. Hopefully Trian gets over here soon. Oh, that's cute. I'm glad that I'm glad that he's getting along better with Guppy. How close are they actually? Okay, no, that's not. There's Guppy. Yep, closer than Guppy than to his daughter. All right. Uh, where is where's Troy? Is he here yet? Nope. Oh, someone left a guitar out here. Let's put that in his inventory. Wait, no, we have to do this. Not like in The Sims 4. There we go. So I realized why I was taking Triton so long to get here. Turns out he's just swimming here the regular old way instead of using his mermaid tail to get here quicker. Like, why is he doing this? He is obviously a mermaid. He could totally get here faster, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait in turn for him to swim his way over here. Uh, yeah, cause was, what is it? It's like 3.30 now. I think we called him at what, 11 or noon or something like that. So he spent three hours taking his time swimming over here, but at least he's almost here. And uh, we could just try to get them to go to the dive spot together. At least Alex did a bunch of cleaning while he's waiting for him to arrive. Alright, taking care of your bladder needs. That's good. You need to take a shower. Don't know if you're going to be able to get that done before he comes. Yeah, that took forever. Can we do anything with him yet? Okay, good. Snorkel. Uh, ooh. Okay, so... Once he, uh, let's do, where was the, where was the dive spot? Right here. So I probably could do the whole boat here with, oh, scuba dive with thing. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna bother waiting for him. I'm just gonna have him go ahead and scuba dive with Triton. Uh, I guess once he takes a shower. Yeah, we'll let him get a little bit cleaner before he goes ahead and does that. And where is Triton, by the way? Has he gone on land yet? Okay, good. He's just getting on land now. So we actually had enough time to take a shower while he's waiting. Alright, so let's get the two of them together in the boat. You have a boat. Why aren't you... Why aren't you using that? Yeah, this is way more frustrating. I did not expect to take the whole day just to get to this point. Okay, come on. Come on. I think we're good. Well, at least we're boating over there, not swimming. So that'll make it a little bit quicker. Good. Now, hopefully we can get that island, because that would be an awesome way to end this part, which has been kind of a mess. Yeah, so uh, so let's hope we can make that a thing that happens. There he is. Where's your mermaid tail? I don't know if that's some kind of glitch or what. Okay, so talk about fish parts. Uh, we'll talk about sharks. What else? Enthuse about diving. Let's discuss kelp recipes, and hopefully this works, because... He is pretty close with Triton. Um, I think he, yeah, I think he's good friends with him. So, I feel like rather. Oh, is that a clownfish? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's cute. Wait, wait, wait. It has. Does it have an actual clown nose on it? Uh, <laughs> I love what they did there. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like how they actually made it look like more of a clown. <laughs> that's funny. Who is this? Ha Haku. K. 
Okay, no one we really know. Slowly making our way over to trying to chat with him a bit. Yeah, I think there might be some kind of glitch where his mermaid tail isn't showing up, or I don't know if it has to do with him being an elder or what. No, I think it's just a some kind of glitch. I don't know. The Sims 3 is filled with lovely, lovely glitches, so that's probably what's going on. Oh, we got another person. So that's the other person we saw, Warren. Okay, no one we know. Yeah, I'm really hoping this works. Oh, did he just give us kelp? That's awesome. How would you like to join me beneath the wait beneath the beneath the waves? Eat this mermaidic kelp, and you can have fish bro. What? Oh my god, he just gave him the he just gave him the kelp that he could eat to become a merman. Should I Guys, do you think we should do this? Do you think uh next time I should have him eat that and become a mermaid? I don't I don't know. That wasn't something I was planning on doing, but then again, I've never actually had one of my own sims become a mermaid, so that might be kind of cool. Yeah, let me know what you all think of that. Okay, so we're gonna continue talking to him, see if we have any luck. I was not expecting that. Invite on land, no. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know if you actually have to be diving to get them to show you the island or not, but it doesn't hurt. What is this? Travel to China. Jeremy Scott is sort of the Chinese coach. Has some tra secret training sex. They might be willing to... Uh, no. I don't really feel like it. Well, while he's chatting with him, let's see... Oh! Ooh, whoa! What was going on there? I've got some drama going on. <laughs> Apparently these two aren't getting along. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on down here. So we've got some fishies over there. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to learn more about collecting. Well, they're getting along more now. That's good. Yeah, oh, there was the... There's a chest down here somewhere, right? So I could probably have him go ahead and get that. Oh, that's convenient. We're right next to the chest. Okay, well, if he doesn't show us this island soon, then I might just stop and do that. Yeah, because you can actually get a good bit of simoleons from just looking at the chests. Okay, so we'll just queue up. No, we don't want to talk about fish parts. Two interactions in a row. We'll talk about sharks. What haven't we done in a while? Talk about shells. Uh, it's about diving. Oh, that's awesome. Avalon's painting. That's handy. Uh, and then while we've got that queued up, I'm going to go ahead and check the reviews for the resort to see if we've got anything that will be helpful in getting us to five stars. Like maybe the, it'll have something that we can do to get to five stars. Hopefully. Fire Rock Pit was highlighted my entire vacation. Da -da -da. Okay, that looks good. Nothing there for us to work on. Wow, what a pool bar. It looks like this thing's good. Yeah, so we're getting a bunch of... Oh, okay, it's about the pool. I don't know. Do any of you know what's going on with the pool? Because I'm not... We, it's chlorinated. I don't know what else I can do to fix it. should really think about investing in more gym equipment. Okay, so maybe that's something I could do. I think I was getting stuff about that before. Uh, so, okay, so all I'm really seeing is stuff about the pool and needing more gym equipment. Um, so hopefully if we fix that, we can finally get the resort to five stars. Because we're so close. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to get him to show us the island, but at least I tried. Well, it's a few hours later, and he unfortunately still hasn't shown us island, and Alex has us breathing shallowly, moodlet, that's about to run out. So, yeah, after he finishes up with this conversation, I'm going to have to have him return to the surface, which is really disappointing, because I was just, uh, I was hoping that we were going to finally get the island, because we're so close. Um, actually, maybe I should have cancel out of that. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just cancel out of that. Unless maybe by some miracle he'll show us the island last minute, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, so I'm just going to wrap this part up soon. Uh, maybe next time I can have him spend some more time with Triton and hopefully he'll show us the island this time. Okay, Alex, come on, get to the surface. It's about to run out. But anyway, I'm going to end this part here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.